Major League Baseball is just over 80 days away from the opening pitch being thrown out on their season. For the Korean Baseball League, some players will be flying there as early as the middle of January for their upcoming season. And that includes Canadian Jamie Romack, who was just awarded the Tip O'Neill Award by the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame. I think all Canadian professional baseball players are aware of this award. Um, it's something that as a young Canadian player looking up to the guys that came in front of me, you see their names and, and you idolize them. Jamie Romack delivered a ball that ended up in somebody's car window. The award goes to a player who the Canadian Baseball Hall of Fame believes has excelled in individual achievement and team contribution while adhering to baseball's highest ideals. Romack had 32 dingers and had 91 RBIs, all numbers which top Canadians in baseball this year. All eyes were on his league when the season began as it was one of the only professional sports being played back in the spring during the pandemic. I wasn't nervous for my health ever. It wasn't about that. I was nervous for our season. The world was shutting down, right? And so I know they did a really good job over there, but you're just worried financially how sustainable is this for a league of you know 10 teams in just one country, relatively small. The league was able to finish the season without any major setbacks as millions around the world and Korea watch the games. You know, when I get home after a night game and I'm like driving back into my area of town and you're passing all those little restaurants and bars, all of the highlights and lowlights are, are on TV. And every one of those people has watched the game. So if I want to go out for dinner, I'm bringing my night's performance with me into that situation. So when it's bad, you're just like, you know, doing one of these. The first baseman remembers his first game in Korea well. He flew from Texas to Korea less than 48 hours before the game and was very jet lagged. I was there a couple days and, and the bench coach came over to me and I was like sleeping in the dugout during a night game. I wasn't active, I was just acclimating. And he's like nudging me. He's like, Do you think you'll be ready to play tomorrow? And I was like, uh, yeah, sure, why not? And the first game went horribly. Like it was, I was 0 for 4, three strikeouts. Coming up on City News, the Raptors schedule. Well, part of it is finally out. We take a look at the key dates, plus big news for soccer in Canada.